test for the convergence of series 1 by 3 plus 1 into 4 by 3 into 6 plus 1 into 4 into 7 by 3 into 6 into 9 so on. Okay. This is the given series. It is given first term, second term, third term, fourth term. They are not given nth term. So we need to find out the nth term for the given series. To test the convergence, which one we required? U n only. Na? So are they given nth term directly? No. So we need to find out the nth term. How we will find out the nth term means, you see, first of all, this is the fourth term. Now you remove this last term. So fourth term is becomes a third term. Now you remove last term. So third term becomes a second term. Now you remove this term. Then it will becomes first term. So here, if you want to find out the nth term, previous n minus 1 terms also you need to write. This is called a repeated series form generally. How we will find out the nth term means see the common difference uh, in the numerator. Common difference is here 1, 4 means 3, 4, 7 is 3. So common difference is 3. So write down 3 into n. Next, if you put n is equal to 1, you have to get the first term in this series. So put n is equal to 1 now, what we have? 3. But here it is 1. So I want to get 1 means just I am removing 2 from this. So 3n minus 2 gives 1. Next put n is equal to 2. This is 6 minus 2, 4. n is equal to 3, 9 minus 2, 7. Like this we are getting. So it is satisfying. Next in the denominator, 3 into 6 into 9 into 12. Common difference is 3. So 3 into n right down. Put n is equal to 1, 3. It is also 3, satisfying. Put n is equal to 2, 6, 6, satisfying. n is equal to 3, 9, satisfying. So this is the nth term. So to write the nth term in the repeated series form, we have to write previous n minus 1 terms also. Now, this is repeated series form. Which method you will apply generally means go for ratio test. In the ratio test, you need to find un by un plus 1. So I know un, now I want un plus 1. How you write un plus 1 term? It should contain nth term or not? Yes. Now, n plus 1 term means just you add the common difference and write the product. Write as the product. So 3n plus 2. What is the common difference here? 3. So 3n plus 3n minus 2, you add 3, then plus 3 minus 2 becomes plus 1. Next, in the denominator also, 3n plus 3. This is un plus 1 term. un plus 1 term containing nth term and write in the numerator and denominator common difference that gives un plus 1 term. Now un by un plus 1 I want for that. You see nth term this one n plus 1 term. So up to nth term are getting cancelled or not? 3n minus 2, 3n minus 2 cancel. 3n up to 3n cancel. Now the remaining 1 by 3n plus 1 by 3n plus 3. So write as a reciprocal which gives 3n plus 3 by 3n plus 1. Now taking limit n tends to infinite on both sides. Then numerator what we have? 3n plus 3. Denominator what we have? 3n plus 1. Both degree same. Whenever the degree same, you have to take a coefficient is the limit. That is 3 by 3. If you have a doubt, take n common and n getting cancelled. 3 plus 3 by n, 3 plus 1 by n. 3 plus 3 by n in the numerator, 3 plus 1 by n. As n tends to infinite, 1 by n goes to 0. This is 0, this is 0. So you will have 3 by 3. 3 by 3 is 1, which is limit. L is equal to 1 in the ratio test. If we know that if L greater than 1, series is convergent. L less than 1, series is divergent. L is equal to 1, test fails. So what we can say now? Ratio test is fails. When the ratio test is fails, you have like a Rabbis test and a Gauss test, logarithmic test. Limit is containing here only 1. So go for Rabbis test. In the Rabbis test you want limit n tends to infinite n into un by un plus 1 minus 1. So limit n tends to infinite n into what is un by un plus 1 we have? un by un plus 1 is 3n plus 3 by 3n plus 1. Right on 3n plus 3 by 3n plus 1 minus 1. LCM is here 3n plus 1. So 3n plus 1 is as it is. Now 3n minus 3n cancel. 3 minus 1 becomes 2. So 2n by 2n by 
3n plus 1. Now apply the limit again what you have. Numerator is 2n, denominator 3n means same degree. Then n quotient is 2 in the numerator, n quotient is 3 in the denominator. So limit is 2 by 3. 2 by 3 means L again what? 2 by 3. Limit is 2 by 3. So what we can say now? L is less than 1. So L less than 1 which is rubbish test. From the rubbish test what we can say? Divergent. So, so the series is... Series is divergent by rubbish test since l is, l is equal to 2 by 3 less than 1 so it is divergent by rubbish test